Hi, my name is Bill Brindley, and I'm the CEO of NetHope. And we just completed a panel on smarter cities and urbanization. And we found three key elements that we thought were critical in terms of findings and next steps. The first is, is it a good idea? And we had panelists that were looking at both greenfields and brownfield situations. We have massive project in Saudi Arabia, the King Fahd City, a hundred billion dollar project from scratch, de novo. Secondly, we had uh, Barcelona and a project there to sort of regentrify and inject smart city type concepts into a city that's been around for hundreds of years. So you have a challenge of the, the in between those two. What are the learnings? What are the things? And first of all, is it a good idea when you look at smart cities, both at those two poles, but also down to the very practical level uh, in terms of villages and small uh, ways that we can make an impact in terms of the environment and society and the human capital. So the first question is, is it a good idea, whatever that means to the stakeholders involved? The second is, do we have the resources to pull it off? Do we have whatever resources we need, certainly financial resources, but also the human resources? and kind of everything in between the business and the uh, government and other kinds of resources that are needed in order to make the new model for urbanization for the future come about. You need resources for that. A well-funded venture tends to succeed. And funding, however that's defined, whether it's on the basic level or at the high-end government funding, you've got to have resources. And the third finding we came out of our panel on Smarter Cities was you need, and probably the most critical, is you need leadership. You may have technocrats and managers and people who can engineer and build, but you need vision, you need leadership, and because because these projects at large and small, big uh, projects and those who are very, very uh, micro, you still need a leadership. You need people who are going to carry the flame and keep things moving even when you hit roadblocks and obstacles. So from our panel just now on smarter cities and urbanization, we found that those were the three things. Is it a good idea? We have the resources to pull it off and we have the leadership for the future. We found our panel was rich with leaders and we want to cultivate that for the future.